Presenting the title maker. This is the title maker. This plays titles over video for the broadcast. You can start it by turning it on in the back using the green wire for go and plugging into the far left connector. There's your main screen. You can choose your font by clicking the far left button on the top. You can then click through fonts using the arrow keys. You'll then want to type your text, make sure it's correct, and then you'll want to click the letter color button and you can choose different colors for your letters from a large palette of colors. You'll then want to choose a background, it can be either a color or a pattern, the most popular being the clear background to play over video. This is generally used during a broadcast. You can also, as you can see, the titles will play over the center. You can also change the position of the titles by clicking the position button and choosing the direction in which you want it to go. You can also mess with effects on the in and out. As you'll see in the next couple of clips, there's a fade in at the beginning of a title. You'll just want to click play, it'll fade in, and you've got your title. Just press new page to undo. Audio Mixer with Cody Berger. You'll first want to turn on the audio board. These two lights should come on. And you'll want to make sure the control room sub mix is level with the main mix so that you're hearing what's going out. For example, here is mic 1. We actually have the Mac hooked up to this. You can adjust the volume by sliding the slider upwards and downwards. Another audio mixer job is the job of the CD player. You cue it up before a broadcast and when you play it, you just slide up the audio bar and make sure that your levels are good. A good level will probably be about touching into the yellows or a very high green. You want to notice the labeling on the audio board. We have the microphone inputs on all six, the Mac, the PC, and the CD player. That's all you need to know. Video Mixer with Bo Lamb. You'll first want to start by turning it on. You'll then want to make sure that it's on ME Preview. This makes it the easiest for you. You'll then want to note that the green presets are the preview screens and are not going out to the school, while the yellow square buttons are going out to the school. You can use the toggle bar to switch in between screens with a specific fade. Bo will now show an example of the fade with the bar and you may also use the auto take button to save any work that you might have to do. The most popular fade is a mix, but you may also use the star transition, the square transition, the circle transition, and even picture in picture which you may toggle around with the joystick. The map with Desmond. That's a PC. You don't want a PC. You want a map. That's a map. This is Final Cut Pro. When the computer works, this program is what you'll edit with. For now, you'll just want to play already edited clips, which you will open through QuickTime. And then you just press the Mac with the Apple on it and the F to play. 
This will full screen it. And it will be playing. It will then transfer from a cord out the side of the map to a corresponding switchboard. And together with the video mixer, you've got the video coming through. That's teamwork. The director with Mike. When the director comes in in the morning, he's going to want to turn pretty much everything on. We'll start with the cameras and the monitors for the cameras. You then want to go to the audio. This is the most important because no audio will come out if not on, and that is the video audio distributor. You'll also want to turn on all of the other equipment in the control room to save the other workers from doing any hard labor. You want to adjust the master black and the iris to get a comfortable shot. This will help with your colors and will also help prevent washing out and blackness. These screens will let you see what's on the cameras and it will help you to see what's going on. And the video audio distributor, when paged in, will not do anything, but when paged out, will go out to the school. It has an audio and video tab. You want to make sure that everything is turned on. Cameras, monitors, audio, especially the video audio distributor. You also want to make sure that all the screens are on. The video board is on and working, as important. And you want to make sure that these are all set to the presets before you go on broadcast and have to do it yourself. Make sure all the audio is good, make sure you know which mics you're on, and make sure it is on. Then you want to make sure that the Mac is coming through before you even go out. You want to make sure you want to test it, make sure it's all over here. And then you want to make sure that the title maker is doing their job, making titles. Studio. On teleprompter, we have Taylor. You want to press scroll lock twice to get from announcements to scrolling. You'll then want to put the disk in, open easy prompt, open your file, press F2 to project, and then click the mouse button to begin scrolling, and then adjust the speed with the scrolling button. You want to remember that the white is for scrolling announcements and the purple is for the teleprompter. It will not teleprompt without the purple cord. Next we have Anchor with Craig. When the anchor comes in in the morning, he will want to write the script, put the mic together, and clip the lapel mic to his shirt, like so. He will then want to correspond with the sound mixer to get the best sound. And you'll want to make a run through with the teleprompter to make sure there's no last minute corrections. Lights with Josh. The Grandmaster will affect all lights on the board. The crossfades between A and B are the lines of lights on the rows. These are the rows. Each one corresponds to a light on the ceiling, such as this. You can also use the submasters as presets to lights, but this is a bit more difficult. These lights are the most reliable. They just have one bulb and one switch each. They will give you a nice warm touch to your broadcast, and they help out a lot. Finally, we have camera with camera. First, you want to put on the headset and turn it on. Camera, turn it on and put on the headset. Next, you're going to want to hold on to the camera, like so. Then you're going to want to ask the control room what to do. Uh, this is camera one to control room, camera one to control room. What am I doing? Thank you. 
Next you'll want to adjust the camera to the control room's commands. You can use that button to zoom and the other button to focus your zoom. Next you want to make sure to hold on to the camera at all times. 